So, the most requested video is here. An update from my sisters on their weight loss. So, we're gonna be honest here and we're gonna say our true feelings and our true goals and what we wanna accomplish this 2018. 18. Um, I'm gonna speak for them a little. Their nutrition, diet, have not been great. Mine have, hasn't either, and we can blame the holidays. Yeah. We can blame. Uh, but that doesn't that doesn't mean oh. anything. We're going getting back on track. That's woo! <laughs> holidays were trying to be a challenge. You know what? They they were like, you know what? They were speaking into our ears like this. Ah, like they were like, you know what? We're gonna get. Them. They're gonna start eating again. Like before, trust me. We're like holidays were talking to us. They they were trying to get us down, but you know what? We went up, but we're getting back up! Yes! That's a great way of thinking. That's a problem everybody <laughs> has. And guys, I went to the gym yesterday. It was extremely packed. I wish it would stay like that all year. So please, girls, don't be like everyone. But you know what? I'm proud of ourselves because we started even before 2018 began. And if we would have never started, we would have lost the weight we lost last year. Woo! <laughs> That's true. They started in the most difficult time. Um, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Do you remember Thanksgiving, Christmas? It was horrible. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna sit here and say that in Christmas they just ate salad and a piece of banana. No. no. Honestly, they I ate. thought I was gonna eat more than what I ate, but I didn't really eat as much as I thought I was oh, gonna eat. And yeah. that's good. That's a healthy relationship with food. I'm gonna start by saying I did gain weight. I gained like three pounds. It's probably not like a lot. But that's three pounds, and guess what? I'm not sitting here and saying, you know what? I already effed up. I'm just gonna continue. I don't care. I'm just gonna gain a million pounds. No, I'm aware of what I've done, and I'm gonna fix it because I did that to myself. They gained, some stayed, some lost. Okay. We're not here competing, right? No. We're no. here to push each other, and we, and trust me. Shout out to Mr. Josh. Yes, Mr. and they got like gloves and they're learning new workouts and they're gonna kick ass. So, boys, watch out. So Don't mess with they're us. They're gonna kick your ass. Look, I want you guys to watch this video at the end of the year and look at yourselves now. All throughout your journey this year, you can either just give up and look at this video and be like, wow, like I could have done it. Like, look at how motivated I was. Or you keep on going and be proud of how you used to look because you accomplished something okay i have a couple of goals one is to obviously not give up because i know there's gonna be a big difference at, towards the end, the end of the year uh, there's i know there's gonna be if i know if i keep going i know there's gonna be a huge difference and i'm really proud that i started we started earlier than usual because a lot of people are like you know what no you're no me i'm gonna that's when i'm gonna start like no like you didn't need to wait until until 2018 you didn't need to so I'm proud that we lost a few pounds and now like I'm like I have a whole year ahead of me like there can be a lot of difference you know and yeah that's one of my goals to keep trying even though it can get hard you know birthday parties family gatherings everything like if we were able to go through the holidays we can go through anything you know what what <laughs> honestly if you're expecting this to be perfect, you're going in the wrong path because it's not going to. It's, your, it's not going to be perfect and you have to learn how to accept that and you have to learn how to be uncomfortable. That's, I just recorded a video of my, my personal goals. That's one thing you have to know that to reach a goal, you have to be uncomfortable because it has to be worth it. You're going to be able to look back and be so proud because you did that. You accomplished something that not everybody can. I'm not going to lie, it's hard. But it's not impossible. And I think it's just all being willing to do it. Like, that's that's how it has to start. If, if you just say, oh, I want to do it, and you never end up doing it, then nothing's going to happen. We all want to do everything, but we don't do anything. We all want things we can't have. But if you work hard enough, you can't have it. If you want to apply for a job, but you're saying, oh, I don't qualify, and that's too much for me, don't. Just try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> so I believe that they can transform... Um, I, I was even right now looking at pictures of how they used to look. I'm going to try to add some here so you guys can see a difference. They don't see it, but I see it. And 
I've heard people tell me that they see a difference and that in it's amazing how they're slowly transforming there's no rush here to transform if you're in a rush you're just gonna be desperate and you're gonna just do it just because you want to do it fast but if you take it slow I mean you have a whole life to do it versus not doing it you're just going up instead of losing the weight you just it's just getting worse so I'm glad they're still doing it there was times where I just I just spoke to them like, hey, what's going on? Like, I would see what they were just like slowly like trying to go back. And I have to like, me as a sister, I have to say something. Because I don't want to, I don't want to see them go back. Because it would suck. I mean, they lost already some pounds. Why would you want to get them again? Shout out to her and Mr. Josh. Mr. Teacher, because like, Super we were Josh. kind of like, we were getting off track because obviously like the holidays and everything. And they would like speak to us. They would be like, you know, what are you doing? Like, they would push us like they would give us a reality check. yeah and yes when we and him when we were out there at the gym or hiking he would bring it up like oh my gosh how are, how are they doing or have you talked do you know what they're eating or do you know what's up because he's really like worried and he really wants to see them reach that goal they want he wants to see them happy and be comfortable with themselves not that they're not right now but just be happy and no you don't have to lose weight to be happy but I do see how sometimes they complain because, oh, I have nothing to wear because it doesn't fit right. Or this or that. I don't want to go because I have nothing to wear. And I don't think that's fair because you're missing out on life because of your weight. And that's something you can fix. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. And yes, we do. We always talk about them and worry like, what are they doing? And, and I just wish I was there with them all the time, like seeing what they're doing, what they're eating. But I'm glad they got like the basics of eating healthy and they see that... There's no magic pill, there's no magic shake, there's no surgery that's going to transform you. If you don't change what's here, this is never going to change. Everyone's doing new, new year, new year, like she said. But then, by March, everyone forgot about it. And they will go back to your old habits. It's all about creating new habits, good habits, and they're going to be habits. This is going to be your new lifestyle, and it's just going to be your life, basically. That's how you're going to live. They need to learn about meals and how to cook different things because i mean we learned how to cook before we even started we learned how to cook a few things but you know there's more to learn yes it's so they're not completely i'm i'm starting to count macros for a different reason and like i talked to them before not because you see me eating something that means you have to because i'm at a different level than you guys you guys are trying to lose weight i lost the weight i'm in a different plan everyone's at a different stage in their weight loss journey so i'm gonna I know more about macros, which I've been trying to teach them, but it's kind of hard for them to understand now. So what I'm going to have them do is learn, start counting. They're going to have like 300, 300 calorie meals, and they're gonna, I'm going to teach them how to do that. And just so they're kind of learning and learning, and I'm going to give them a certain, it's like a certain, like, you have this much to spend today. Spend it like you're going to be kind of like doing math and seeing what you're going to eat with that money you have. It's not money, but it's calories. So I'm gonna each, <laughs> I'm gonna give them each a goal, and it's honestly kind of fun because you're kind of like it's like a puzzle. Like okay, I'm gonna eat this here because it fits here, and that's just starting. And I know with this plan that I give them, they're gonna start seeing results like this. Obviously, with the training, we're gonna. He, Mr. Teacher already even said it. He's like we're gonna roll back because he knows he was giving them a break because you know holidays and we're busy. But he's, he's willing to help them as much as they need it and they want it. Because he's not going to force them if he, they don't want it. We're going to come back to the next update. Maybe it's not going to be every week. Maybe every two weeks. And um, yeah, they're going to tell you guys what they have learned about meals. And every time we come back, they need to tell you about something else. They learn how to cook. Because you guys are going to be chefs at the end of the year. Honestly, girls, you guys are the stars of my vlogs. Because everybody's always asking. Aww. You guys are sweet. Yeah, they're very sweet. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share the video. Anyone that's over there struggling on their own, just show them and we're all here to help. And we got to, you. We got you. And to bring good vibes to your life. And just make yourself happy this year. Make yourself happy first, and whoever's around you and loves you, they're going to be happy just by seeing you happy. Challenge yourself. Try new things. Thank you guys for watching. Good vibes. Good vibes. Until next vibes. time. Bye.